The gospel scene presents us with a harsh encounter between Jesus and the merchants in the temple area. And Jesus went and made a whip out of cord and drove them all out of the temple and said, Stop making my father's house a marketplace. From Jesus, we find the distinction between a house and a marketplace. In a house, we find a place of love where there is an exchange of love between brothers and sisters husband and wife, parents and children. But in a marketplace, there is an exchange of money. And those who come into the temple replace the love that is supposed to be expressed between brothers and sisters as members of the same community with transactional relationship an exchange of money, of coins, rather than an exchange of love and trust. And this is what Jesus um, condemns, because the house of God, the church, the communities that we belong to should be places of love, places of an exchange of hugs and caresses and trusts between one another. Jesus, at the end of that same gospel, refused to entrust himself to the people because he knows how human nature can be. And in that sense, there is a contrast between God and human nature. God, a God of love and human nature, that is not to be trusted. In the first reading, God gives Israel the Ten Commandments at Mount Sinai. And these commandments are also meant for an expression of love. They are not inhibitions in themselves that restricts us from exercising our freedom, but rather they lead us to an expression of love for God and for our neighbors, expressed in the two dimensions of the commandments. The first part referring to our love for God and the other part referring to our love for one another. These commandments also enable us to become part of God's people, because those commandments initiate the Israelites as the people of God. But when we also keep them, we become members of God's community. And above all, when we look at the scriptures, we will discover that justice and uprightness are connected to life, having life. And the word of God says that Jesus has come that we may have life and life in abundance. And so when we keep the word of God, when we do these commandments, we will surely experience good life, both here on earth and eternal life in heaven. May the Lord bless his word in our hearts. And may his word bear fruits in our lives through Christ our Lord.